Hi, I'm David Maldo, the CEO and founder of Let's Do Video, where we talk about business communications, productivity, with, of course, a focus on video. Today, I'd like to first thank our sponsors at MNS.VC. You can uh, go there to learn more about them, and I think we're going to be hearing a lot more about them in the months to come, especially when it comes to today's topic, which is video recording. So today, I'd like to thank my two guests, Dan Driscoll and Dan Giesen. If you could please uh, introduce yourself, starting with Dan D. And tell us a little bit about your, your company and your role there. Sure. Um, I'm Dan Driscoll. I'm the Director of Marketing and Communications for Video Guidance, uh, BCS Global. Um, I've been with uh, Video Guidance for about five years now, and, and in the beginning of the year, we were purchased by BCS Global. Video Guidance is a full-service provider uh, in North America at the time, and uh, BCS Global was a service provider globally. Together, we've come together and created a, a global service provider company that uh, provides uh, agnostic uh, solutions across the globe. Uh, we have multiple platforms from a um, cloud-based product, uh, managed services products. Uh, we provide uh, AV solutions. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, our recording service that uh, is in our cloud that we added recently to our cloud services. So, Thanks. And Dan G? Hi, I'm Dan Giesen. I'm the Vice President of Global Operations for Video Guidance BCS Global. I've been with the organization for 16 years now. My uh, group, my team, is responsible for delivering the services to customers. Those services include call launch services, help desk services, managed services where we uh, manage customer states with infrastructure and endpoints. And I'm glad to be here to talk about the call recording services. Great. Thanks so much, uh, both of you, for joining me here today. And let's jump in uh, with call recording. Now, to a guy who thinks about video all day, this is a no-brainer for me. The, the obvious use cases and benefits are uh, too many to even start going into. But I wanted to know what made you guys uh, decide to offer it. Was it just that, hey, the technology is here, let's put it out there and see what happens? Or were the users really asking for it? Yes, I, I think the users have been asking, and again, as I say, I've been in video conferencing for five years, and one of the things that um, has always come up was, can we record easily our, our video conferencing? Uh, there's a, lots of applications that have come up. Um, just easeability of just recording a simple team meeting has uh, always come up, and there's always been options out there to record complex events and and things like that, but never a, a solution that basically allowed an individual to record a meeting, a team meeting, uh, a training session, a small educational s system, uh, an interview, or whatever it may be. And so we, we kind of heard that over and over and over again, and we've been searching for a solution for, I'd say, over the last three or four years, and there's never been one until recently, and, and we're really glad that uh, MNS kind of came forward and we were able to introduce ourselves at an event and ever since that time kind of started creating this simple product that our customers really have been asking us for. So it's been pretty much customer driven for us. I'm not surprised because I definitely hear the same thing from users. It's, it's one of those technologies where for a while they said, what do you mean I can't do this? It seems obvious. I'm looking at a camera. I see myself on the screen. I know there are ways to record. Why do I have to use one set of tools, one, one room for video meetings, and another set of tools, another room for video recording? So uh, it, it's, it's good to know that the technology has gotten to the point where it is flexible enough and it works well enough that it is easy to use. In fact, we're actually using it for, for this recording right now. Um, and, and I set it up, and all I did is I set up a demo account, and I had the recorder call into the meeting as if it was a participant in the meeting. And afterwards, I'll be able to download it and, and share it with the audience. So it really, um, it, it's good to know that it's gotten to the point where it's easy enough that we can answer that question, you know, why isn't it there yet? Well, now, now we have it. Uh, I was going to say, you're, you're absolutely correct. I think it really comes down to uh, an easeability of, of using it uh, in, in an individual uh, recording service, not, not a company recording service, but... Every, every individual having their own recording service, and it's kind of like recording in the pocket or something. You can, no matter where you're at in, in, in the world, 
basically if you're going to enter into a, a conference, a video conference, and you can just add your address into that that video conference and record it. And so it's it's it just goes along with you. You don't have to worry about taking an appliance or a desktop or anything else. It, it's just it's just there. Yeah, that brings up something that I thought was very interesting that you mentioned earlier when we were talking. I, I always thought of just recording a typical meeting. We have a meeting, we have a bunch of people, and we record it so someone who missed it can you know, see it when they have a chance. But you brought up uses that I never thought of, just making a meeting with yourself and recording it. it you were sharing some stories with me about internal use at Video Guidance, and I always love it when uh, a vendor or, or a service provider is using their own services. So, so can you share your... Uh, can you tell me a little bit about how the company is using it internally? Yeah, um, we we almost always use the services that we are deploying to our customers. We want to make sure that we're very comfortable using the tools that we're uh, supporting and, and providing our customers. And recording service is one of those where everyone uh, has their own recording uh, address that they can use. But one of the applications that we used to have a separate application was called um, Video Mail. But this application is as easy, if not easier, to use. So basically, you can record a, a message. Um, you can use a PowerPoint presentation or just a, a video message of yourself. And then you can basically send it to you or send it to a, a team, which we do. So our CEO, our Vice President of Sales, I actually today just kind of received two of them uh, from talking about where we are, where, where our status is at the end of the year, uh, what are key things we need to accomplish before the end of the year. So it's just another tool that basically you can record it and send your message in, in a mass distributed way. And so I, I, it's a great application besides just recording a, a complete call. So I think that's another whole selling point. That's excellent. I, as a culture, people are getting more and more comfortable using video and putting themselves on video but it still has to be really easy. So if you guys are actually, we've always talked about video mail and sending video messages. If you're actually using it for that, it it must be, have reached a tipping point in ease of use. And it is, and actually we've had a discussion today related to just kind of communications, just the overall sales and customer support communications, and how do we can, with this tool, how can we expand that? So if you're gonna send an email, why don't you attach a message that's a, a visual? in it. Instead of typing this whole thing down, why don't you just send a, an email with the message in, in a video format. So I think that's a productivity tool too. Instead of typing this whole message, just record yourself and just send it in an email to either a customer or prospect or whatever. So I think from our standpoint, we're going to use it a lot more as a marketing tool. And it's easy to create marketing, uh, basically recordings now for websites or anything else. So if you want a, a training session, just use it. it's just real easy to create a, a training video now that you can attach to a product or to a customer or whatever. So it, it's a really nice tool. I mean, there's other tools that you can do that that are very expensive and very complex. And that's always been hindering us from creating a lot of these assets. But now it's, it's just simple. You just kind of record yourself. And if it's a PowerPoint presentation, have it. If it's a demonstration of a product, kind of demonstrate it as you're talking through it and off you go. You got your asset and you publish it and there it is. So it's, it's I, I love I love the idea of uh, uh, using it as an email attachment because nobody reads emails anymore but if I sent a video and have an email that says, hey I have an idea, I don't feel like typing it out, click the video. Right. They'll actually they'll actually get it. Absolutely. Uh, I'd like to jump into adoption. Now recording we we discussed it has been available but adoption's been hard. I think one of the the toughest problems is you had to justify, since you needed a, a big server to, to do it, a big expensive deployment to support it, um, you'd have to have a, a, a customer would have to, to kind of buy into a lot of recording and know they're going to use it before they could even try it. So it must have been very hard to get adoption. How, how easy it for, is it for your, your customers to get on board? Yeah, it's been really easy for them. Uh, you know, this is a simple technology, and that's what we love about it the most. It's really the user, the usability of it is uh, right where our customers need it to be. And from a training aspect, we that we buy into the idea that we need to train our customers because we want them to utilize the services. But even with that being said, this product is so easy to use. The training is very short and simple. 
it's a it's a quick learning cycle for our, our customers to ad adopt this technology. Um, as you said, you know we had to have infrastructure um, to provide recording services in the past. We not only had to have infrastructure, but sometimes there were components that you had to put in the conference room that attached right to a camera or a video conference system. Recording has changed so much from the early days of recording streaming. Um, you think about when an organization asks for recording on an RFP, it was just a checkbox. So what does that really mean? What is recording or what is streaming? And there's so many components that you can create, create, create out of recording or out of streaming. And really what most customers want is a simple button to push or a simple address to dial and a recording out of that. They don't need all of the bells and whistles. They want the ease of use and the delivery of that. Um, and that's what this tool does. It really puts the power in the end user's hands, allows them to initiate the recording and instantly have access to that recording from a web portal. Um, it's as simple as that. And I don't know how much training you need to have to be able to do those two steps. Um, but we do provide that. We have the, the, the links on our website that we make available to our end users in case they do have questions about different functions within the portal or different capabilities about learning how to dial a URI address. URIs aren't always um, you know, well known throughout our industry today. As new users come on into the industry, they're learning, well, what is this email address? What does it mean to me? Well, it's just a way to dial. And as new users uh, adopt that, once they've learned it once, they don't have to figure, do it again or go through a training session a second time. They, they understand that, okay, I'm gonna dial this address every time I wanna record. It's like pushing that record button, but now I can bring that record button from my desktop to my video system to my, my portable phone. That recording button is mobile, and that's what the power is behind this tool. And that's simple, that's simple easy. Yeah, I, I really like the dynamic behind it. And going to the training, I, I went to your website and I found the YouTube video you have, which explains how to use it. And, and it's funny because it's incredibly thorough. It goes through every feature, and they talk really slow so you get it, and it's under two minutes. I mean, it's, it's, there's, just, there's just not that much to it. Uh, I, I went to the website, and like you said, I had a meeting invite for this meeting, which was a, a SIP address, which looks like an email. I popped it in, and I hit the record button. But not just the, the ease of use of it, but I like the, the dyna dyna dynamic of it. I'm not recording my point of view or your point of view or on my computer. It, it's a meeting attendee. The recorder is an attendee to the meeting, so it's seeing what anyone else would be seeing if they join this meeting. It gives a nice neutral view, and it's um, it's something that's the first time you do it, you you, you kind of understand it. Right. Yeah. I, you you mentioned something, David, where the the, uh, the the video is very detail oriented. Well, that's because it comes from our most of our training uh, videos come from our user adoption manager. So. She's been doing user adoption for years and years. So when it comes to making everything exactly the way the user is going to experience it, she's very good at that. So, so that video, she, she'll go through it, and, and she'll make sure that that user experience is going to be exactly how they're going to experience that product or that service. So we have multiple services like that where she is creating those uh, training videos. So our training videos are much different than our marketing videos. Uh, they're much yeah. more detailed exactly how that user is going to use it. But you, you bring up the point is, is basically in two minutes, you know how to use a product. That's all it takes is sit down, use it, see this video for two minutes, and you're going to be able to use the product anywhere. So. And that's important for us as a business as we try to scale this. We can't rely on human interaction for every time someone wants to learn how to utilize a recording service. We need to have these tools that are available to the end user online so they can access it anytime, anywhere, and as many individuals as possible. Um, so that's, that's not only with recording services, but desktop services and any type of service. We need to provide those tools online for our, our user community. Um, so it's a very important part of growing our business. Yeah, for, for, for years we've been trying to figure out how the users are going to want to consume video, and, and the answer is self-serve. Yeah. Yeah, they, they don't want to be handheld. They just want to, they just want to make their videos, and it has making to be sure their videos. It has to be simple. Yeah. So could you share a little bit about your experience working with, with our sponsors today, uh, MNS.VC, uh, the power behind the, the, uh, your solution at, uh, at rec.vc? Can you give us a little bit about the details and what it's been like working with them? 
Uh, I'll give it from the marketing standpoint, and then Dan can kind of sure, take you through the technology piece of it. Uh, from a marketing standpoint, they have been really excellent partners to work with. Um, from a branding, customization, from flexibility and the pricing programs that we want to put out in the marketplace, either through us or through them, uh, they've done a really excellent job. And they really, I, probably more than anything, is we really kind of want to partner with people who really want to partner with us and, and, and kind of listen to what we we know of the marketplace and what, what the uh, product fit would be for our customers. and. I think they've done a really good job of that, of kind of saying, okay, how is this product shaped? Because we started with them very, very early in the stages, and so we had some opportunity to, to uh, even provide some of our insight into the product. So, but they were very open to open communications and learning how how to position this product. And, and we, we basically wanted to position the product, and I think had the same vision as they did, is let's make a product that's easy to use and it's positioned in the marketplace where people just want to record easy, simple meetings. And because you can create a lot of features and functionality with it, make it really complex, but then you're in a whole different marketplace. And that's not the marketplace that are, is asking for this product. What it's asking for this product is these little team meetings or business units or individuals that I want to, I just want to record something easily. And so I think both of our visions came together and said, this is what we've been hearing. This is what you've been hearing kind of create this product from a marketing standpoint. And I think they've still been really open with us with uh, the future products too. I mean, their live streaming that will be coming and their administrative portal and what the features related to that will be. So we've been very, very pleased with the, uh, the relationship that's been developed between our organizations. So, Yeah, I'd agree with that, Dan. Uh, from a technical aspect, they've been uh, really seamless team to work with. They are part of our team. When we when we look at different manufacturers and different software vendors and looking at potentially selling their their services or products, it's not just a price point. We need to look at the partnership from a, a entire uh, standpoint of do they provide the ability to work with you on a support basis? Do they have good pricing metrics? Do they have good training detail, um, training information. There's a whole gamut of information that we, we look at when we're partnering with an organization. And uh, Larry and his team have been very flexible with us in all of the aspects and understanding that they're not just trying to push a product through us. They're trying to sell a product and bring an application to our customers in tandem with us as a partner. Um, it's just we're not just a, a conduit to the, our customers for them. That they really believe in building these products together, hand in hand with us. And uh, as Dan said, we've had the ability to shape the product. We've been able to provide feedback on how it functions, and what the interface looks like from a web portal standpoint. And they listen and they respond. And it, and it doesn't take a whole a whole quarter before uh, a new feature comes out. They have a really good response time. Um, uh, to when we put a request in. So we really appreciate those types of partnerships and they're very key to obviously their business, but it's very key to our business. Um, and we've really uh, enjoyed the partnership to this point. Uh, I, I, ho I hope a lot of vendors hear what you just said, because I, I talk to vendors all the time and no fault to them. When you make something great, you're proud of it, but they have this feeling that we invented the magic product and the service providers are just gonna love to, to, to bring it to the world, but a, a real partnership is required. So. Uh, yeah. But what you just said is very important. There's a lot of people who I think need to hear that. Anytime you can kind of work with somebody that's real flexible, that can get you to market, basically with some of our efforts and some of their efforts within like 60 to 90 days, and, and you have customers within 90 to 120 days, that's that's a really quick to market opportunity for a partner. So, I mean, Absolutely. I think that's what they bring to the table. Also, MNS, the the. the, the uh, go to market strategy that's quick and easy so absolutely well I think the the real exciting part is going to come I'm going to have to check back in with you gentlemen in in maybe six months to a year because I think this is one of those flexible technologies that once you put it in the users hands they're going to come up with all kinds of cool stuff and they're going to be doing things we haven't even thought of we just need to give them a little time to figure it out so yeah. so with that I'd like to thank you both so much for joining me here today and I'd like to thank everyone who tuned in and watched us. I hope you uh, all sign up for a free demo and, and try a little recording yourselves. Thanks to our sponsor, MNS.VC. And uh, there you can do a demo of them at rec.vc. 
And uh, if you enjoy this, please tune in at letsdovideo.com and sign up for our free newsletter at letsdovideo.com newsletter.